You guys have got to go easy on me. I'm limping around tonight. After a, a long and varied and very varied career in the circus, I finally managed to actually hurt myself pretty good. That is the appropriate response. Now, I want to tell you what this act of daring do is before we get in the show, so you know why I'm gimping around. You know, and I've, I've walked on stilts, I've hula hooped, I've played with fire, I've done all this great stuff. I found the most dangerous, injurious thing I could have possibly done. I tried on shoes. <laughs> true story, every word of what I'm about to tell you, I swear is a true story. Uh, I wear these funny uh, five toe, we can't call them by the real name because you know, they're not paying us. If you would like to hire us to sponsor, you can contact us from, no, I'm not gonna. Okay, uh, I wear these funny shoes, so I go out to the sporting goods store and I go trying on the shoes, and I'm thinking, this is gonna be great, right? And I try on the shoes, and I wanted to find a pair that were a little more, these are apparently off-road, and I didn't know there are all these different models, so I put on a pair of the street shoes, because, you know, I'm totally street. <laughs> Sesame Street is what they're saying. So I try a pair on, and I figure, well, you know, I'm a clown, first thing I gotta do is I gotta leap up on something like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is where everything goes wrong. So you know those little benches that the shoe people wear? I mean, they use, they, they, they have you put your foot up on them. So, okay, we're still going. <laughs> All right, it only hurts a little. So they, they, uh, they have the little bench out. So I figure I'll just leap on that. I know what the hell I'm doing, right? I'm a trained professional. You know what I didn't know is that the carpet in there was slick, the bench was slick, nothing was tied down. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question. And if you've been eating, I'm really sorry. But you know that, that sound that candy bar makes, break me off a piece of that? Don't say it. If you'd like to hire us, you can, but we're not going to say the name. But you know that awful noise it actually makes when it breaks? My ankle made that noise. Yay. Not yay. There's no, hang on, there's no yay in, this is a true story. This thing cracked in a way that it should, you know, I'm not a flamingo, pal. This happened. I'm deep, I'm deep in my drinks. I'm, I'm going to go back to the story. So... The thing goes shooting out, my ankle goes sideways, and at once my brain goes into high-speed cartoon time, and everything slows down. And I think to myself in my high-speed, intelligent way, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the ground so hard that I'm gonna bruise on the, this side of me, and I'm gonna hit on this side. Sure enough, sickening thud later, there I am on the ground, and that's not the interesting bit. The employee running up to me was, because it was the epiphany. She runs up, she goes, are you okay? Now, do you guys have an honesty filter in your head? Because I do. I, I installed one when I became a clown. The honesty filter actually heard, don't sue us. <laughs> now, you got to know what's going on in my brain in high speed, you know, rewind a little bit. I'm in the air, I'm going, I totally handled that dismount wrong. What I should have done is picked up my foot and rolled and gone and hit the ground and everything would have been fine. And then I hear, don't sue us. And I'm like, I'm not going to sue you, which really made her take a step back because all she actually said was, are you okay? <laughs> and so the problem was I wasn't. I'd actually bruised myself to a nice purple shade and everything really sucked. But I had this neat moment where I realized I was busily, well, after making sure that bones weren't sticking out sideways, that I had learned to take responsibility because I had done something moronic and stupid And it wasn't her fault. So I had to spend more time reassuring her than I did either trying on shoes or paying attention to the ankle. And when I got home, it was like this. But the good news is a lot of, a lot of soaking later and I'm groovy and I'm good to go. I'm gonna gimp around and I, I'm, actually, I'm actually not that bad now, but I was over the weekend. Ow, that really hurt. But uh, my plan is I'm gonna be back up in stilts tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes, okay? Yeah.